Okay, hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is um, day, th well this will be going out on day three of the school closures and lockdown because of coronavirus. Hope everybody's okay. Uh, right, I'm gonna do um, three very simple giraffes for you to have a go at. Um, so we're gonna start on this edge here um, and we're just gonna bring the giraffes in from the bottom and the side. So I'm gonna go through three different designs, okay. So the best thing to do now is we just do a an oval shape like this for the first one. Okay. And then we do kind of a half circle like this. Can everybody be able to do this one? Easy. Um, you do two circles here for the nose, nostrils. And you can put any kind of a any kind of a, a mouth. You can have the mouth in the middle, across this side if you wanted to. Okay, again two dots for the eyes. Like this. Okay. Now obviously really long neck. So we're gonna start over here. And we're gonna bring another line in this way. There we go. Perfect. Right, ears next. So, curve it round like this. Now the idea here is if you can match where, so if we started here, for this ear, then we want to try and do a similar kind of shape. Don't worry too much. And the similar kind of size on this, almost like leaves of a tree, like that, okay. Now, giraffes have this strange shape on top of their head. This is a cartoon version, so we'll do it as spikes. And then we'll do three lines like this off the top. And then we'll bring in some half circles like this. Do another one on this side, just a bit smaller maybe half circles here, like this, there we go, so there's your giraffe, easy, and um, what I then do is, I mean I'd, I'd do it multicoloured, so let's just choose a few colours to do, maybe a, this is an orange, there we go, miss out that one, if you're going to do a red, and do the red over here, so you don't want the similar kind of colours next, right next to each other. Uh, I'm going to choose a pink, a bit of pink in there. You could do these black if you wanted to, unless you've got, you know, if, if you've got lots of different colours, you can. You can use felt tips as well. I'm using pencil crayon here, but you could use felt tips if you wanted to. Again, the main thing is stay inside the lines. Um, Okay, and then we've got two more, so I'm going to choose, I don't know, something like a yellow maybe for this one. Yellow there, and let's go darker purple for this one. You could just choose two different colours if you wanted to, just do alternate um, shapes up to you. There we go. Try and stay inside the lines if you possibly can. Right, um... So now I'm going to use a, um, I've got a Stabilo um, 0.88 fine uh, marker now. Um, these are really good pens if you can get hold of one of these. So I'll just now go around, go over the top of my pencil lines. I'm going to colour this in black. I'm going to colour these in black as well nostrils, draw that line in black. You can see it's coming together now. So this is where if you can, try your best to stay on the line you've already drawn in pencil. Don't worry if you if you don't quite make it, you can rub out your pencil if you've not pressed on too hard. Ears, like this. There we go. I'm trying to show you a bit of criticism from one of my relatives about with my hand over the top of the 
drawing while I'm drawing because people have tended to try and draw along at the same time. And if they can't see what I'm doing, it's quite difficult, but it's not natural where my hand is now to draw like this. There we go. And then I've just missed going around these outside line. There we go, outside line. Now just to finish it off, I would then go around these to make it nice and neat. And there is your really simple giraffe. Perfect, he's just popping out from the side of the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another one. Um, let's see if we can get um, one coming from the bottom. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just do this one straight in pen. I mean, if you wanted to go over pencil and then go over it again, but I'm just gonna bring this in from the bottom. So this is a slightly different design now. Um, so I'm gonna do his nose first. So I draw something like that. I'm gonna draw an open mouth this time, black. Now, nostrils up here, white ones this time, like that. It's a bit of a surprised look on his face. Now this one, try and draw that shape. Almost looks like a monkey now. You could turn this, I suppose, into a orangutan, no problem. Eyes. I'm gonna just do two small dots for his eyes there. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple of shapes on his head like this. Now this one for these, I don't know what these are called on giraffes actually, somebody might be able to tell me on the comments underneath this video. What are these called here we're drawing on a giraffe? If anybody can find out that'd be great. Call them nodules, no idea what they are. Right, ears again. Okay so We'll just do again like a leaf shape for the ears, like this, perfect, like that. And then we've got a long neck and it goes something like that. There we go. Now I'm going to do different shapes here. Any shape you like really. Bring one or two in from the side that like we did on the other one. Like this. Perfect, there we go. Um, one thing I would probably do now is just bring in the inside of these ears, like this. You might want to do a bit of a tuft on the end of the ears. And let's go, let's go mad with these bits of fur there. Perfect, look at that. Cool, eh, like that. Um, so I'd make I'd keep that white, black and white really, but again you could do, if you're making it cute, you could do like a children's bedroom wall, something like that. You should do a bit of pink in the middle of, you should do a bit of pink like this. On the outside of this, or the inside of this here, there we go, like that. Okay, and then, I don't know, let's go. Let's go black in here. So with this Stabilo uh, ink, do this just with a black pen. I could just go around like this. This is a real fine felt tip. You probably want to get a bit of a thicker, thicker felt here if you're going to do this in black. Now I'm going to leave one. I don't know why. I'm just going to leave this one here. Just colour in this black. Daughter's asked for a fish, I might do a fish tomorrow night. I've had requests for horses. Um, narwhal. One of my other daughters, Amelia, who's eight, she wants me to do a narwhal. There we go, so I'm just going to do this last one black. Quite tough at the bottom of the page here. Just realised that the pad's moved off the uh, 
edge here. You can't see what I'm drawing, that's great, isn't it? For an archie tool. I'd rather use pencil crane to be fair. And then this one I'm gonna just do, I don't know, I'm gonna do a just a bit of a nod to giraffes really, because normally you'd find them kind of brownish orange. And do one orange just as a bit of extra interest. There we are. And then on the I missed the ones on his head, so he or she, I don't know, looks like a boy. There we go. And those are my two giraffes. So, I mean, I, I'd, I'd probably have one coming in from this side. You can bring one upside down, looking upside down here. One in the corner here, maybe. Um, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with those. Okay, move those pencil cranes away. Um, just perhaps show you. Um, got another one here, maybe, that we can think about doing. Um, this one's got a bit of a strange face, so let's draw this. This is really quick, it's not going to be as good as I'd probably normally do it. I'm taking my time now, so nostrils like this. Again, I'm just using a pen. Now, this one's got a long bottom lip here. And that's down here. So we'll bring this up like this. So, this is a really quick one, not taking much, much time on this one really, if you could probably do a bit more time on this, might come back and do this one another time. Just conscious that the videos are going on a little bit longer than I'd like, so let's try and do this quick. Okay, and black ink, here we are. Curve this around a little bit more, try and match that eye on the other side. There we are. Now his ears on this one are down. So again, a kind of a leaf shape. So above here we go curve these two bits around. And then you've got a lump in the middle of his head there and then remember these nodules they kind of look like this there we go again we can just put some sprouting hair on there if you want to almost look like cacti cactuses so we go back down again here There we are, again, shapes. A bigger shape here. I'm not going to colour these in because this will take me too long, but you guys could colour these shapes in. These would be good on things like greetings cards. Make a card for your mum's next time, your mum's birthday or something. If she likes giraffes. There we go, so I think I'm pretty much done now. Let's just do, do a few more shapes underneath the mouth there. Again, you colour these in if you can. Now I think what I'm going to just do a little bit is um, quite like using this silvery grey colour. So we'll just, just define his uh, chin a little bit here. 
and then like this, that brings it to life then, just a little bit of shading in those areas here, a little boundaries in those, there we are, and then a little bit onto the top of his bump on his head, and we could just shade, so I'm just using, you could use a brown, just using, if you try and do circles there, that'll suggest that, that you know, like these kind of tops of the giraffe's head, and then again we'll come around this bottom bit of his, uh, the bottom of his head here. There we go. Again, let's do that in the ear. So I'm using a sparkly grey here. My daughter loves this crayon. There we go. And under his eyes. That's it. Perfect. So you could just carry on now with the um, carry on with the shape so let's just do this kind of shape there you go you've got three giraffes now perfect um, I don't know let's I'm gonna try and sign this one down here sign this one in here and sign this one up there there you go um, let's put some kisses at the end there we go perfect Right, so have a go at that tomorrow. Uh, or I'm filming this actually on the on Tuesday evening. It'll go out for YouTube tomorrow. Um, please subscribe if you can. I'll try and do one of these every couple of days um, for as long as we're on uh, school closures and lockdown. Obviously, stay stay safe out there and uh, speak to you tomorrow.